misfire. I don't know why it started doing that, uh, misfiring on cold starts only. I swear, if I have to replace O2 sensors in this car again, I'm gonna flip. You know, this is what I get for wanting a Ford and being a Ford enthusiast. You know, it's like I, I was getting uh, codes for misfires on uh, cylinders four, five, and six, and took plugs out, checked everything. Everything looked fine. I guess it's not. I don't know. Runs fine when the car is warm, so I don't I don't have any suspicion to believe it's something wrong with like uh, <clears throat> you know actual physical mechanical problem with like the engine itself, but it's it's something stupid either with the coil packs, the plugs, uh, somewhere in between O2 sensors. I don't know. This is another freaking issue. I can't finish like remotely trying to tune this car because the battery keeps dying and I don't really have money for a battery right now but I can't continue anything until I get a battery because I have like maybe three shots to crank this car before the battery just takes a crap so I can't dial in everything and uh, get the car to start before it dies and defeats that purpose this took way too much effort to get out. Holy crap. Why? Nothing can ever be easy. Not when you're a car enthusiast. I swear, sometimes it's so annoying being a car enthusiast. It's like I love it, but it's just like so much annoying things involved and it's just, I don't know. Ah, I didn't choose this hobby. This hobby chose me and I'm in for the ride. <laughs> I'm to the point now where I just want to enjoy these cars and I spend more time working on them and uh, I'd much rather just be enjoying driving them and whatnot but I guess that's how that goes right I'm upset because it's not because I'm spending money I don't have I'm really trying to do you know a lot of things here with YouTube and Perhaps I'm trying a little too hard, um, only because it's something I always wanted to do. And I'm making great progress. I'm over 700 subscribers now. And, you know, it, uh, it's challenging because, uh, you know, there's the things you want to do and then the things you have to do. And there's only so much money to do both. So the money I'm spending on this batter, I really want to do more kind of fun videos with the SHO, you know, just kind of putting parts on the car that are, you know, have some controversial opinions and see and test and see if they work or not, you know, because I love those videos. I have fun doing them, you know, people have fun watching them and, you know, that's kind of the whole point of YouTube. Uh, but today, can't buy something like that because I got to buy a battery and that is a whole nother dilemma. All these batteries I buy suck. The biggest problem I had with buying car batteries is I've never had great luck with them. I mean, I've tried not to be biased. I've tried to, you know, do my research and buy batteries based off what I think is good, you know, and what other people recommend. And I've never had luck. I've tried most of the major brands and I've seen cars with brands you think suck last longer than brands that you think are are good most of your batteries are made by your, the same manufacturer there's like two major ones you know you got Johnson controls and I uh, forget the other one it does uh, like the Odyssey batteries and diehard batteries which I thought were you know some of your best batteries except there's a problem with all that they're not at least from my experience. You know, I ended up for the Cobra buying a very, very expensive diehard battery. Um, I mean, it wasn't expensive in the grand scheme of batteries, but it was expensive for that car. You know, I could have definitely saved myself some money and, and not got a, a, a different brand or something, but I didn't. I got myself a diehard because I, you know, it was made by a company that also manufactures some of the best batteries which I guess anymore are not considered to be the best because even those batteries which are the Odysseys have horrible ratings so I guess you know that's no longer a good brand anymore anywho you know I bought it and let me tell you what 
oh, it died hard. You know, it died very hard. It didn't even last a year. It wouldn't hold a charge, and it was one of the batteries that only had, well, actually, it lasted longer than a year. It lasted long enough to put itself out of its warranty, and I was screwed. I was out almost $200, 180 to be exact. So, <laughs> never buying another diehard battery ever again. With that said, when I had my uh, Fox Body Coupe, I, for that car, got a Yellow Top Optima. Because, you know, Yellow Top's supposed to be, or Optima batteries were supposed to be the best, you know. Get a, get a, a Optima battery, you know, they're the best, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, it, they're, they're decent, I guess. They're expensive, I mean, it's an AGM battery. So I, you're paying for the design, I guess, more or less than the name. Uh, but I had a problem with mine. You know, the first battery I got, it had a dead cell. Took it back, got another one. Also, had a dead cell. I didn't get a good battery until the third one, and then it was okay, and it was fine. But three batteries to get a good one, it's ridiculous, because then I had, I had a fight with the damn store, because the cell, it was, even though it was dead, it, it would still read fine, you know, because they won't warranty a battery unless they check it. It would read fine, it would, you know, it like, oh, well, there's nothing wrong with it, just, we'll charge it up and, and you take it back. Like, so it, that was an annoying process. Won't buy another Optima battery, it's not worth it. So what I've determined is you can't really get a good battery. It's just like a luck of the draw. And that's really annoying. Um, there's one brand in particular I haven't tried in a while. And uh, one of the vehicles we had in, in our family that we had a long time had a interstate battery. And it was fantastic. It was a great battery. Never had any major issues. Um, but once again, are they still made as well as they were? Is you know, if I get interstate battery, will it be as reliable as the one that I had, you know, that we had in that car? I guess I don't know. You know, that's kind of the thing. I don't know. It's like so. It's like should I spend, you know, little money on a Walmart battery or you know, a lot of money on a better brand? I think I'm just gonna go to Pet Boys and get a Champion battery for it. You know, they seem to be pretty solid. They seem to be well made. Like they're not just like cheap flimsy plastic I see in a lot of batteries. <sighs> I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try a Champion battery, see how it goes, and we'll go from there. My luck ain't gonna last. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hopefully this will uh, be a lot better than uh, than I had and ho oh 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 sometimes when you buy cars that are maybe not new but new to you you got to get to know them because you don't know what's done to them or not done to them until you start ripping into them and then you get surprises this car has definitely given me a lot of surprises oh huh. Like now I'm starting to really dig into this car. So yeah, I am um, I'm finding a lot of stuff that uh, I didn't know about. Like I knew about the shock towers are rotted out, so like that's not a big deal. That's all gonna be fixed eventually. But this this mess of wires here, th this bothers me. So instead of just being able to pop the battery in and work on my tune, I'm gonna have to spend time and fix this because my OCD will not allow me to sleep at night if I don't. This is horrible, oh my God. Looks like nothing's been touched since this car was built. Pros and cons, pros and cons. This is, this is what happens when you're a car enthusiast. You have the fun times and then you have the annoying time. I really wonder how it is for some of the bigger YouTubers. Like, I mean, big, big YouTubers. You know, you got all the ones that have like a million subs and, and stuff. Like they can literally just go and spend money on parts all day long and work on their cars. That is their freaking job because if they don't make that video, they ain't getting paid. So, you know, me, it's not like that. I can make this video all day long. I'm not getting paid. And this still ain't getting fixed, so, you know. Starting off a YouTube channel in the automotive sector is a bit annoying, I would say. 
You know, if you're doing this as a really small hobby, you do what you can, you take your time, you know, something breaks, whatever. You know, you save up, you buy it. YouTube really makes this kind of stressful because anytime you take a hobby and turn it into a job, you tend to lose some of that enjoyment of whatever it is you do. One of the biggest things I've learned, and it's key, if you're an automotive YouTuber, if you're a YouTuber in general, if you're a car enthusiast minus the YouTube part, whatever it is, biggest key to making it happen is patience. I suffer from a lot of emotional issues. So small things to some people are huge things to me, you know, and I, I do my best to you know, cope with these things. And this is, these cars are my coping mechanism for their, for a lot of the part next to music. That's my secondary hobby. When, you know, when I need to take a break from the cars, I go do music and that kind of helps clear my head. Like I'll get myself so determined, so obsessed with staying focused. I'll lose the ability to make wise decisions. <laughs> I'll do something stupid. And that ends up costing me money. But, you know, patience is the key. And if you don't believe me, I didn't get this car yesterday. I didn't get that car overnight. And I sure in hell didn't get the SHO last week. You know, it's been, these, are, these have been um, years of patience and work, persistence to, to get these things. You know, I never, ever thought I would have three cars. Never did. You know, I was at a point in life where I didn't even think I was going to be able to make it to the next day. I did what I could and I sat there and every day I pushed and I was patient. And if I was having a bad day, one day, I always looked forward to the next day. You know, and if I had a bad day that day, I'd move to the next day, you know. And I just kept pushing and pushing and pushing. And even though I have three cars and albeit they're not Lamborghinis, they're three cars I never had before. And that's kind of the whole thing. You just have to stay, you have to stay focused, but you also have to stay, you know, you just have to take your time. For me, like I said, it's, it's hard because I want this YouTube channel to take off. You know, I'm so close. I'm over like 704 or something subs now. Actually, no, I think I'm a little more than that now. And, you know, I'm only 290 some subs to go. And I'm at my thousand, then I can monetize the channel, you know, and that's where things will really start work growing for me because then I can start earning money from YouTube, you know, um, cause the, the strategy I've used was instead of doing one thing at a time, another thing at a time, I'm doing multiple things over time and stretching everything out. Um, it was really a tactic uh, that I sought to be a good idea because I am gonna make YouTube a business. You know, once I get the channel monetized, I'm gonna file for, you know, um, business licensing and stuff. And it's going to be a means of money for me. This is not just something like, oh, I'm gonna make YouTube videos, blah, 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 and then give up on it or whatever. No, I'm determined. This is gonna be a thing for me. You will see my channel up there with all the others at some point, you know, as long as YouTube doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> um, but if I can make it happen, it's gonna happen. Um, I've spent too many years wishing and, and thinking it's, it's time that I started doing but it's just become annoying. It's become annoying at this point. You know, there's a lot of stresses in the world and there's a lot of things going on with everyone everywhere. You know, it makes it hard to keep everything aligned the way you expect it to because there's always your expectations and then there's reality. <laughs> Neither usually line up together where they're, where they're supposed to be. And uh, <laughs> over time, magic does happen you know and like the saying goes the best thing in life are things worth waiting for so with that said as annoying as a car enthusiast can be patience will always make it worth it remember that but that is it for this vlog video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and if you want to see more content like this, then go ahead, subscribe to the channel, 
keep a lookout for the next video.